Hello, everybody. This is day five. We're a few minutes away from starting. And welcome. I'm going to hold up a I'm going to hold up a chart of today's hormones So we're moving, we have, we're moving into the brain. We'll be looking at the pituitary, the mammillary bodies and the pineal. So those lucky people that came early today, I'm um, almost at time. I'm going to show you just an excerpt from the manual. Oh no, I closed it. I'm gonna show you an excerpt. Oh, there we go. An excerpt from the manual. Welcome everybody. It is now 11 o'clock my time. It is the culmination of the week. It is day five and I just wanna go uh, actually, I want to go back and let you read. This is uh, my on online manual. When you study with me, you can keep rereading it. And um, here we have it. Endocrine glands secrete hormones into the blood vessels which circulate their body. Some of them can interact directly in surrounding tissues. Most of them have receptors far, far away. So to start the day, stop that for a minute. So to start the day, hello everybody. I'm gonna have you just get up and really move, move in the rivers of your blood. So this is the ancient part of hormones. This is the fact that we did not, this is before any nervous system. I want you to, you have been bringing up the essence of these hormones. Now I want you to, I'm gonna put this down and you're gonna see me from below, but I just want you to move for a moment. Just move, breathe, breathe, move, and explore the pathways that these hormones travel through. And so bringing up the, any which one, pick your, pick your favorite and definitely also touch up upon the coccygeal body. 
because in order to go into the head glands, let's find the lower glands. So we'll find, find the lower glands. <laughs> like, so inspire you to move. So ancient rivers of blood allowing these substances to self-organize. So these are in the skin, in the, in the intestines, in all the cells, and in these specific glands, you will have independently operating receiving glands and and glands that give out information, potent little crystallized hormones that flow through your blood. So that's a different, that's a circulating, circulating knowledge. And it, it comes before the brain. So it's not like anyone is controlling this. This is happening in conversations. So it's like this, it's, it's so you don't need the patriarchal father. You don't, we don't have that in the system. We have this beautiful, intelligent, molecular, potent signals traveling through you. And of course, later the brain comes along and it's like, this is really awesome. I'm going to play too. So now we have the hypothalamus and we have the nerve starting to also engage and interact on another level. But here this week, we are with the glands. It's really nice being in the sun. Maybe I'll stay in the sun. Yeah, just a little movement every day. Just give yourself a movement a movement that you don't need to track and that you don't need to know why you're doing it. That's the gift that came to us in Zoom yesterday. Oh my gosh, if I just say move, can you just move? Or are you thinking of the outcome or what meaning it might have? Or will it show constriction? Will it show promise? Nothing, just move. There we go. So I'm going to preview these glands in the, in the um, head. Actually, before we preview them, I want you to find the paddle of your coccyx. I want you to find that paddle of your coccyx again from first day, always an inherent in your body is the ability for your, your joints to move, for there be the freedom. And so the coccyx can move and under it, the glands can determine when they release into the blood. So I want you to have and take any more of these, the the perineal body, take the ovaries, testes, take any which ones that spoke to you. For example, the pancreas, like we talked, maybe we talked in the Zoom, like some people are like, give up the pancreas, give up the self, the simplest self. So, oh, I'm not really here. Do Can I be here? When the pancreas is there, we're here. And we know we're, we don't even know we're here. We're just here just present. So find that there. That looks good. Someone just did it in my group over here. And um, 
from that place, then we can ascend. And however you think of this, however you believe that we connect to heaven, we connect to, to the higher forces in life within us. That's where we're getting now. And in body mind centering, um, we have three glands here. We have, again, the pituitary gland, which we spoke to briefly on the first day. And it's up from the mouth, behind the eyes. It's one gland made of two parts that wrap around each other. And they hang down the pituitary, it hangs down into a cave that is protected. And also what it does is it lies right where the optic nerve crosses. So for a moment, let's stay with that one for a moment. Just look with your eyes, see what you see. And then I want you to, to um, instead of looking with your eyes, just look from between your eyes. I'm not gonna go into third eye thing. There's a lot to be said about that. Just go between the eyes and just know what you know. Just, <sighs> Know what you know. And let it go. So I'm just gonna talk you further in there. Um, we're not in the face. We're not like right up here, right, you know, this far behind. We're further back. So as deep as the eye sockets go, and back up from the mouth. So I want you to, to just go a little, probably further back than you would normally think of this third eye and go back, there we go, behind, behind the eyes. And I just want you to put your resonance there, put your vibration there. So in terms of the three glands, you're slightly in front of midline. And just move from there. I don't wanna be prescriptive. So much of these head chakras are prescriptive. So for a moment from between your eyes, it's the great thing about somatic body, about BMC, you can just move there. You don't have to know everything. So what what's it like? I mean, oh, if you look at me, you see a baby, they're just like, Oh, wow, is it distracting with the light? Uh, no, okay. So um, I'm enjoying it, but <laughs> so they, they kind of look like, they don't look with their eyes like what's going on. They're like, oh. Just notice what happens to you. Sit there before we let it go again. And then we move to the mammillary bodies. So the mammillary bodies are part of the limbic system. And maybe if I can do this quick, this will be fun. Um, down, down, down. The limbic system is this very beautiful, cool midbrain system that you'll see. It just looks friggin' awesome. <laughs> here we go, this green thing. And so what you see here, sticking out in the front, very obvious, it are the olfactory bulbs. So how we smell, they reach out into the front space to be very close to where we smell in the nose. 
And between that and under that is a pituitary gland. And if you go up from there, you'll see the mammillary bodies. There's two of them and they're part of this limbic system, this circle. Okay, so now we're smack midbrain. I love this one. This is the one where we are, we are super now. We're now, 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 now. We're now in time. We're now in space. So you can stand up and just, just where do you feel like you're not ahead of yourself. You're not behind yourself. You're right. Oh, you're right on your, on yourself. And um, tap, tap the top of your head. These are two bodies. And so, so this is what happens like, like later in the nervous system, there's so much, there's so much information coming in. And here hormonally, you have glands deciding this is now, this is important. So how, with all this information going on, how do we feel the extraordinary? And the mammillary bodies give us a sense of the extraordinary now. And then when you, know, when you are in that, yes, now I'm here, then you have the three dimensional or four dimensional or fifth dimensional awareness and ability to take in a snapshot of now that your memory can lay down. So here you are now. Just go to the simplest now you can. And maybe go now. Now, 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 and just pick up something or dance. I'm still now, just stay in now, stay in the mammillary, stay in now, see what happens. Just notice your pattern. You go to memory, you go to planning, you go to wishful thinking, you go to now. All right, so now we get to the pineal, uh, pineal body and that, that kind of means, that doesn't kind of mean, it means acorn. And so, so we have lots of, beautiful old depictions of acorns or seeds. And here is a side view. Here's a pineal gland. You see it, you see the pituitary in the front, mammillary and then one gland, so show you from behind, it's one gland, again, smack in the middle, but behind, slightly behind the center. So when we are born, when we are born, when our head lays upside down in the cervix, the initiation does not come from the front, like I wanna get out this way. It doesn't come from the middle. It comes from the back, from the pineal. So it, it is a light rising of the head. So it's just, it's like, so just breathe in. So just let your, chin stay and let your head from the pineal gland just 
ascend, it's ascension. And it is how we are born. It's the initial reach. So it's just a small, and then it starts. And then the spiral starts and the push comes in and all this amazing stuff. So let's stay here with the pineal body, back of the head. Make space for it behind, make space behind you. Make space behind in your brain. This is about this, this gland sets our day and it can perceive day and night. So this is why it's also considered the third eye sometimes because it responds to light and dark and it sets our rhythms of day and night and it sets our knowing of what has happened before. And it sets the back, the background of who we are. And just as I'm talking to you in these last moments, just, just from here, see where you would go. Where would you, your intuition from the pineal gland take you? If you were to pick something up, or and let's put them back in a row and have all three. So you're not in the center just from being in the mammillary, you're being in the, the balance of pituitary mammillary pineal all three and let that glitter through the other glands, glitter th down through the thyroid, through the thymus, through the heart, through the thoracic, <coughs> through the um, pancreas, through the gonads, and down to the pelvic floor, perineal gland and coccyx, and then hold the arc of your deepest roots down into the rock in the middle of the earth. And the combination of all the higher, higher lands, higher areas, higher knowing God space above. And this, my dears, was the five day, 20 minute tiny magic. I um, want to invite you to continue with me in a longer version. Um, I'm doing a nine week program, but I'm also doing a once a week class for an hour and a half where we'll have more time to ask questions and I can give you more. And so in February, I will be teaching the embodiment of relationship, which is the yield, push, reach, pull cycle, which is very philosophical and very beautiful and sets us, helps us understand how we engage with the world and what are other options we have coming from within our body and coming from the muscles and coming from um, the developmental embodied knowing. And the nine week course should, I'm offering because I wanna get you through, wanna get people through COVID into their practice, into your dance teaching, your, your therapy teaching, your embodied teaching, and really give you a good, good base and interactive support and a group to end up having time to come back to yourself and learn skills and create a new way to bring the body into your practice. And that will be very personalized and you'll end with a plan. So I'm Christine Cole. 
I love you. Thank you. Please right now, take a moment and just type in where you're from in the world and maybe one quick thing about how this was, how this affected you or not. And because it's, it's, it's an exploration, it's, it's kind of a quirky thing. And um, if you like it, if I hear back that you like it, I might do it again in a few months. I like to offer a free, um, especially, a, especially in this time. I like to offer quirky and I, I like to offer within that solid, solid embodied information. Um, I'm not quirky with that. So put in your name, anything that you experienced this week. I, I really, you can pull them up on YouTube in the easiest way. You can pull them up in the Facebook group. Um, you just go to, there's like a little topic area under about and you push tiny magic videos and they'll all, they'll all show up, all five of them. Also on the page are the offerings and how to find them, find out more. And also comments about mistakes are always welcome <laughs> on dates and things. So I got to stop now. Love you. Goodbye. See you. See you somewhere else or back in odd embodiment.